friends welcome back to my channel for those who don't know me my name is Ayate and in this particular video we'll be learning about how to calculate day over day change excluding weekends that make a topic more interesting so I hope you guys are excited by now and just a simple thing like which I say every time in my video like if you are new to this channel or if you are following me from a longer period of time and haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe it as it helped me a lot and it will encourage me to make more such content in future so see you in the video so let's get started so let us move on to my screen and see what kind of data we'll be dealing with so i've just created a dummy data for you so i'll be also sharing the dummy data in the description so you can also parallelly work along with me so now let us move on to my screen and see what a dummy data look like so basically what it look like is like we have the following dates and these are the four records that we'll be dealing with so basically we are we are just i've just taken the example from hr analytics so what happens is like if suppose a candidate is there and like it has different cycle right so i have taken only three cycle so like suppose like the employee got onboarded right on a particular date so and like these many id got activated so what does id activated means is like out of 94 employee that got onboarded only 70 employees were there like who joined the organization and due to some reason the other people might have not joined the organization or they might have switched to another organization okay and uh, uh, and from this account activated like these many employee got the project like those this money employee got deployed to particular project and others maybe are learning something or other might be like in the internal project that is not shown in the system and something like that so this is the particular example we'll be dealing with so i hope you are clear with this particular data set and let me just give one more brief overview so you can see like the date pattern so if i move on to my calendar and if i go to previous one so you can see i have taken data as 8 9 10 and 13 so you can see 13 is a monday and 10 is a friday right so for creating creating like day over day change we need to subtract 13 from 10 whenever monday comes like we need to subtract monday from the friday to calculate the day over day change so, right so how to do that we'll be seeing live in action in tableau so now let us move on to tableau and connect to our data set so just click on microsoft excel and i have just kept this file in document so let me just see the dummy and click on open okay i have to close this file so i will just close this file and save it perfect now i will just click on open perfect <laughs> so now you can see my data has been loaded right so now what we need to do is now let us move on to sheet one and now what we're going to do is now we are going to drag the date field into the row shelf and in this particular case what i want is i want to see the discrete date right so i just select the discrete date and click on ok perfect and i also want to show the record id perfect now what i want to show is i want to show the weekday number right weekday like which week day it was so how to do that i can just drag the date field again to the row shelf and this time i will be selecting the weekday click on ok perfect so now you can see 13 was a monday and 10th was a friday right which i was showing in the calendar so now let me just give it to entire view or fit height view or uh, okay i love the standard view only so we'll be working in standard view only so now what i want to do is now i have to build one calculation like which have to calculate a day over day change if it is a monday then it should be subtracting the monday date then the previous date should be the friday date right so how to do that so the first thing we need to figure out is like how to calculate the maximum date that is present in a data set right like the latest date so that is very easy so what we can do is we have to create one calculated field and just rename it as latest date and in this particular case what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use the fixed level of data expression and i'll be using simple maximum function so maximum of date field and close the curly braces and click on apply click on ok and drag the latest date to the row shelf and just like that discrete perfect so now you can see our latest date is showing as 13 right so that is correct right so now what i want to do is now i want to calculate the weekday number like in tableau how does it show so according to that we'll be building the calculation for the previous date so you'll be clear once i'll be building that in tableau so what to do is uh, we are going to calculate the weekday so for calculating the weekday we know like we can use our date part function so we'll be using date part function and we'll be using weekday and comma of the latest date perfect and click on apply 
okay so now i don't want this to be a continuous field I, this is a discrete field right so i'll be just dragging this to our dimensions and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag this weekday to the row shelf perfect so now you can see for a monday it is two right and what i can do one more thing is uh i can just duplicate this field and edit this field and i will just calculate this weekday number for the original order date so you will get an idea what i'm trying to do here is date field so weekday all field okay so click on apply click on okay and if i drag this week field after this date field so you can see for a monday it is two like weekday number then like tuesday it should be three wednesday wednesday it will be four then thursday five and friday six right so this is how our weekday number has been shown right for the sunday it is taken in tableau for sunday it is weekday is one for monday it is two okay in tableau this is how it represent so what we're going to build a logic is according to our weekday calculation we'll be building the previous date so how to do that so we'll be creating our calculated field that is previous date so if our weekday if so if our weekday for the latest date is equal to 2 like that is a monday then what i want is then i want the latest date to be subtracted by 3 like 3 days before like 13 it should be subtracted from the 10th right and else like if any other weekday number is there like if it is 3 4 5 6 then it should be like minus 1 right like it will be to the previous date should subtract and then end and click on apply click on ok and drag this previous day calculation to the row shelf and discrete okay perfect so now you can see our calculation is working fine right now it is showing like mondays of mondays uh like since it is a monday that's why it is taking as three right so we have built a logic so now what we need to figure out is like now we have to figure out like how to calculate the particular uh kpi for that particular example right so in this particular case what i'm going to do is we are just calculating a day by day change for employee on booted and you can perform this same activity with these two so what we are going to do is we are going to create a calculated field and we are just going to write as employee on booted latest date okay and what i can do is i can just write one simple condition integer like if my date okay if my date field now just pay attention to it if my date field equal to latest date okay so if my this condition is true then it is it will return me an integer either zero or one so if it is like true then what i want is i want to multiply it by the employee on booted data if it is false then it will return zero and click on apply click on ok and just and just double click on this so you can see for uh, like the date is not equal to our latest date so for the other category it is showing as 0 and for the latest date it is showing as 99 right so it is showing correct so now what i want to do is now i want to do same thing with the previous date so i'll just duplicate it and i will just click on edit and in this particular example what i'm going to do is uh, previous date and the same thing i'll be doing the condition i'll be replacing it with the previous date so if my date is equal to previous date then i want to employ and put it for the that date otherwise i don't want click on apply click on ok and double click on that perfect so now you can see now the employee on board is showing 99 and for the previous date it's showing 97 and for other it is showing zero right so our calculation is valid so i hope you are clear with that so now let us create one kpi card for the employee on board it so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to drag the employee on board it to the text shelf and employee latest date and employee previous okay now what i want is i want to create a day over day change okay so day over day change okay 
day over day difference first i will calculate so day over day difference be like the latest date minus the previous date right and we can wrap it in some apply okay and just try get to attack shelf so it is coming true that is correct so now what i want is i want day over day difference right percentage so what i can do is i can just duplicate this calculation and edit it and click on date and just i will rename this calculation as day over day percentage and what i can do is i can just add um, and just clear this and i can add day over day difference divided by sum of previous day like latest minus previous divided by previous will give us the percentage right so click on apply click on ok and click on tax bill and what we are going to do is uh, multiply by 100 so default properties number format go to percentage and two places of decimal ok so you can see 99 minus uh, if I calculate the divided difference in my calculator so 99 was the latest date okay and 97 was the previous date and a previous date was 97 so our percentage will be 2.06 that is correct so our percentage is coming correct right so now what we are going to do is we are going to build a, a kpi card for this so how we can do that is i will just click employ onboard it to the text then day by day difference to the text and then what I want is I want to show uh, this is day over day change with the previous date right uh, versus latest date and this I want is a discrete field uh, exact date okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to manipulate some of the things so the employee onboarded I want to show it as a big number so I'll just select this one and you can do anything like i'm just um, showing you one way of building a kpi card so this is very simple kpi card which i'm building as of now versus latest date and this is 15 and this is also 15 i want This I want is tab semi bold, and this also I want is tab semi bold. Click on apply, and that's what I want. Is I want to be apply, okay, and my modation hmm. perfect. shading as gray as if now so you can see like 384 employee were onboarded like the latest uh, what i can do is i don't want to show this as the total onboarded now right so what i want to show is i want to show the latest one so i can just drag the latest to the top one so like 99 employee were onboarded and with respect to latest date like this was the percentage day over day change right so i hope you are clear with that and you learned something from it so thank you for watching this video i hope you guys learned something from it so see you soon in the next video and also do share it with your friends if possible so next time